In this short video, we'll talk about how to use a load instruction to read data from the memory, and a store instruction to write data to the memory. In modern computers, a value in the memory cannot be a source operand of the processor core directly. When we need to modify a memory value, the register has to execute a load instruction to read the value from the memory into one of the processor's register first. Similarly, the result of an arithmetic or logic operation cannot be directly saved into the memory. Instead, the result is saved into a register first, and then the processor executes a store instruction to write the value into the memory. The key reason is that registers are much faster than memory. Saving values in registers temporarily helps improve the process speed if those values will be used again. This will help reduce the lump of memory access. Here is an example LDR instruction. LDR stands for Load to Register. It reads a 32-bit word from the memory and saves the value into the destination register. For example, in this instruction, Register R0 specifies the memory address which the data is read from. Register R1 is the destination register. Suppose register 0 holds this memory address, which points to this location. The LDR instruction will load a word, that's 4 bytes, into the destination register R1. Assume little endian is used then the value of register R1 will be that beef. When a word needs to be saved into the memory, the processor core needs to run the str instruction. str stands for store register. In this example, it saves the 32-bit value held in register R1 into the memory at this address specified in register R0. Assume register R0 has this value pointing to this memory location, and register R1 holds a special value, that cafe. Assume the system uses little endian. Here are the memory values when the str instruction completes. The least of the significant bytes F E is stored at the lowest memory address. We have shown the LDR and SDR instructions, which load or store a word. This table lists the instructions that loads a byte, a half word, a sign byte, and a sign half word from the memory. When a sign byte or sign half word is loaded into a 32-bit register, sign extension should be performed to make the value 32-bit. This table lists instructions that store a word, a byte, or a half word to the memory. In this example, we use the LDRB instruction to load a byte from the memory address specified in register R0. This LDRB instruction will change register R1 to this value. The next example uses the LDRH instruction to load a half word and saves the value into register R1. This LDRH instruction will modify register R1 to this value. When LDRSB loads a sign byte from the memory, Sign extension must be performed. The byte stored at the target memory address is EF in hex. Its sign bit is 1. We copy the sign bit to the left until the value has a total of 32 bit. Therefore, this is the final result of register R1. Similarly, when loading a signed half words from the memory by using the instruction, LDRSH sign extension 
will be performed when the result is saved into register R1. This example illustrates the store half word instruction STRH. The least significant 16 bit of register R1 are stored into the memory, as shown here. Note that this instruction does not modify the values at these two memory locations. 